Okay, complex fraction. What is it? It is a fraction divided by a fraction. Here are several examples. Here's one. It's A divided by B. That's the top fraction. Then you have the main fraction bar. And the denominator of this guy is really 1. So it's A divided by B divided by C divided by 1. This is a true complex fraction. A divided by B and then divided by C divided by D. Here's one where A is alone in the numerator. So what is this really? This numerator is really A over 1 divided by B divided by C. So if that doesn't have a denominator, it has one, it's 1. And you'll run into that. I tend to put denominators in. Now, this is a complex fraction. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a complex fraction. You're not used to seeing it that way. This is how you're used to seeing it in arithmetic. But this says 1 fourth divided by 3 eighths. That's what this says. 1 fourth, the main division bar means divided by. divided by 3 eighths. And we know how to work that problem. We just invert and multiply, factor and reduce. Invert, multiply, factor, reduce. been there, done that. So when I look at this particular example, which is 3 over x squared minus 1 divided by 2 over uh, x minus 1, this is equal to 3 divided by x squared minus 1 divided by 2 over x minus 1. This is the way we saw this in 6.2, I do believe. It's a 6.2 problem. What do we do? Invert, multiply, factor, reduce. So you know why then we did the uh, exercise we did yesterday in terms of practice because the multiplication and division of rational expressions is something we're going to use in this part of it. Okay. And so you end up with uh, 3 over 2 times x plus 1. Now, if you do, if you want, you can write this as 3 over 2 times x plus 2. That's the same answer. And you're safe either way.